But see you later, baby. Ollie wants to come, apparently. <laughs> you pushed her out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Come on. Come on. Go on, you little trifling ass. What's up, everybody? Reba Reeb's back at it. Sorry, I look like a hot mess. Usually when I come to record my vlog, I just worked out previously, so hence the uh, awesome workout attire. Moving on. So, this week's topic is, look, we're all at home. We're all quarantined, well at least for now. I know in North Carolina, um, they've implemented phases, similar to a lot of other states as well, of like kind of like a soft opening for US of A. Which is good, uh, with all of the COVID-19 stuff going on, um, or coronavirus. Coronavirus. It's good that our country is doing a soft opening. Now, I am not going to get too deep into uh, whether it's good, bad, whatever. Um, I think it is good that we're doing a soft opening. Do I think we're ready? Time will tell. Most of us are still at home, which some people see as being awesome, some people see as not being awesome, but ultimately you're at home. So this is, well for me, obviously with being 28, I haven't really experienced anything like this. Um, and a lot of my peers, both on the latter and younger side, haven't experienced anything like this. So being at home and being told like, hey, you have to social distance, you can't go out, you can't go walk around Target or any other store aimlessly, you gotta get in and get out. It's new and it's troubling and it's frustrating and it's just something we've never done before. But while at home, I know that you're probably thinking of like things to do, um, or catching up on things such as home projects. Oh my gosh, can we talk about why Home Depot and Lowe's are like the spot to be apparently? Anyways, um, but yeah, you may be catching up on a home project. You may be working out with what you have. You may have all of a sudden uh, grew your own home gym. But ultimately, this is a time that you should be working on you. Let's talk about weaknesses. So we all have them, whether that's, and I'm gonna stick to men, no, not mental, no. Am I mental? Apparently. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, cat's <laughs> reaching her arm through the door. <laughs> okay, speaking of mental. Anyways, um, let's speak about physical, what was I talking about? <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, I get distracted by the little arm. Um, <laughs> weaknesses, okay. Woo, okay. So let's talk about physical weaknesses. So we all have weaknesses because we either don't work on them, we abuse them by not working on them, or we don't work on them enough. So being at home, more than usual, it is the perfect time to work on those weaknesses. So my coach took this opportunity to program a lot of my weaknesses um, for me during this time, and because he knows that I'm working, I'm able to work from home, and I have nothing else better to do, and I've been a remote athlete even long before all this went down, so I have my garage is my gym. Um, I'll do a gym tour at some point, but I have a lot of decent equipment in there where I can do, basically, I mean, I have a rig, I have a GHD, I have an air bike. Um, no, I don't have an air bike. I have an assault bike. I have a rower. Um, and then obviously all my weights and one or two dumbbells, one or two kettlebells and some bands, a sled, but yeah, I have a variety of stuff. Um, now, do I use all that stuff on a daily basis? No, but my coach decided to program my weaknesses and that is my upper body strength and my squats. <sighs> now I know, physically wise, looking like, you would think like, upper body, okay, you know, she has traps, she has biceps, triceps, like, she's strong. <laughs> I swear these muscles are all for show because I cannot do push-ups to save my life. 
So yeah, my coach took this time to get to program squats and basically dips, pull-ups, chin-ups, push press, and shoulder press for me for six weeks. I <laughs> love it. No, I'm going on to, I just finished week three, so I'm on week four right now. Two more weeks, thank goodness. And basically I'm doing uh, all those accessory movements I mentioned and 20 rep squats. Now my workouts went from being five days a week to three days a week, which is driving me stir crazy because I used to work out five to six days a week and now working out literally half the time, I'm going crazy, but at the same time, I need that time to recover to do these squats. So that is a way in which my coach is programming my weaknesses for me during this time. And by the end of it, I will be able to have a 200 total. So my weaknesses, I'm working on other squats and the upper body movements. For you, this may be something different. Now, I realize everybody doesn't have a home gym or weights that they can use, but something as simple as body weight movements can be a game changer when it comes to your physicality. With a lot of the soft openings happening, people kind of re-emerging, that's awesome, that's great, but you still have the time to work your weaknesses and, and I hate when people are like, turn your weaknesses into your strong suits. That doesn't happen overnight. Um, it's going to take a while to turn your true weakness into your strong suit, but you can get better at it. And why not get better at it along the way? So, I mean, if you're struggling working, getting a workout routine, this is a perfect time to start a routine. Whether you work out, whether you want to work out seven days a week, which I wouldn't advise, or you want to, you know, have a consistent schedule, start now, start with one day. That's all it takes. And that's the thing, you don't even have to, people, a lot of people go out with the mindset of, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna get in shape. And they wanna go four to five days a week, max effort, doing these crazy workouts. And sometimes that works for people and good for you if it does. However, it doesn't work for everyone. You have to start, I say you have to start small and work your way up. So if you're simply wanting to start a workout routine, start with one day. Pick one day, pick a certain time and how long that's gonna last and the movements you're doing and go from there and work up. You wanna work out a little bit longer, you think you can go a little bit longer, add some more movements in. You wanna go up from there, add another day in. You know, work up from there. Finding truly what your true weakness is, is a game changer. Maybe you can take this time to figure just that out. The reason why squats and upper body movements are a weakness to me is because I, well upper body, let's start with upper body. So I was a college athlete and I played sports all the way leading up to college, obviously. Now a lot of the sports I played were leg dominant. So I'm talking like track, basketball, soccer, uh, lacrosse, like you name it. I don't, I think I played pretty much every sport but softball. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's the thing, like you name it, I, 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 I probably played it at some point. If not for a whole season, then I dabbled in it. And so a lot of these sports, um, built up my lower body, my leg. So I have a capacity for running. Now, do I run? <laughs> no, I do not. So those sports built up my lower body. Now, with that being said, my upper body was neglected. So a lot of, like, like I said before, body weight movements such as push-ups or pushing anything really overhead, and that's honestly been a struggle in my weightlifting career, is sometimes um, my lockout on my jerks is that upward pushing movement. Now, and it, I attribute that to my upper body weakness. So in addition to the upper body program, my coach has given me, I've also taken it upon myself to do this, challenge. So we've all done challenges or at least a challenge during quarantine. And if you haven't, whew, you're stronger than me. But so a challenge that I recently picked up um, is one from Compete Every Day um, by Jake Thompson that his company Compete Every Day put out. And it's the 100 challenge, 100 squats, 100 push-ups, and a 100 sit-ups every day for the month of May. Now, I kinda, well, I didn't kind of, but I completely took out the air squat simply because I'm doing 20 rep squat. I'm just not gonna do that extra movement since I'm already doing it. So, 
I've added, um, I break the 100 up into sets of four, which obviously is 25 each. And as soon as I wake up, I do my 25 push-ups and my 25 sit-ups. And throughout the day, I'll take one round of 25 out each. So that way I make it to 100. Now again, this is something that is outside my programming that my coach has sent to me. It's obviously not detrimental to that. It's obviously me not going off the rails and going against my programming. It's just something that I've added that I personally want to get better at. Because you know what? I'm tired of my muscles looking good, but being useless. No, but truly, it's just something that I personally want to work towards. So that's something that I've added to work my upper body weakness. Weightlifting is truly about strength, and that's weight you can pull, weight you can get under, weight you can push up, um, weight you can maintain in a sense. Looking at my one rep maxes through all my lifts from snatch to shoulder press, and everything in between my squats, everything pretty much correlates except for my squats. And again, my coach thought this was prime opportunity to build that number and also more so than just the number itself uh, because we are more than our one rep max. It's more than just building that number towards the one rep max. It's to build me up strength wise as a whole. And so he programmed these 20 rep squats starting with pretty much 65% all the way up. The goal is to be able to do my one rep max. No, the goal is to do, what is the goal? The goal is to do my five rep max back squat 20 times at the end of this cycle. That's the goal. <laughs> I'll let you know if I get there. Coming to my coach, the first thing he needed to clean up was my technique and we've spent the last actually little over a year doing that. We've cleaned up my technique and cleaning up my technique has added kilo after kilo onto my total as a whole. But there is still something there that wasn't clicking and that was my strength. And so that's why my coach programmed these squats for me is because in order for my numbers to go up, I have the technique there now to actually finally be proficient and consistent in these lifts. And it wasn't that I was plateauing, but it's just like, all right, well, what now? Strength. So that's the way I'm working my lower body weakness, which is my squats. Even if you're not quarantined or if you still have to go out and get to work, think about it this way. What is something that you want to start now that you want to see yourself doing tomorrow or in the future. It can be mental, it can be physical, it can be anything. But you have to, as cliche as I know this is going to sound, but you have to start today. And just because it's not Monday, just because it's Tuesday doesn't mean that your goals aren't going to be reached or that it's not as meaningful. It doesn't matter what day, it doesn't matter what time, it just matters when, and the when is now. So take the opportunity, sit down, write down what you want to accomplish this week. Hey, it's Tuesday. What do you want to accomplish by Friday? And get there, work towards it, and let me know. You can drop a comment, subscribe, let me know what you are going to accomplish this week. So get out there, get up, get active, make a plan, make a goal, and go get after it. Until next time, y'all, I'll see you later. So we've all done at least one challenge during quarantine, and if, if, <laughs>